Good morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake, cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos will pay the bills, but you gotta be quick to get those fills. Follow your plan to keep your pockets thick, if that market gaps up, look for Uncle Rick. Small gap down means it's time for a duck, but if it doesn't set up, then we don't give up. Good morning everybody, we know why we came here today, now let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go! Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream, Friday, February 23rd. Got the S&P up 17, NASDAQ up 61. Russell pretty much unchanged, Dow up 104, gold slightly green, silver slightly red, notes, bonds, yields flat, oil down 2%, natty gas down almost 6, soybeans down half percent, wheat and corn a little bit higher, euro and the pound a little bit higher, Bitcoin down a little over 1.5%, VIX getting crushed back down to 14 I did take a, uh, for those of you that were on the Power Hour stream, I took a Square Earnings Brokering Butterfly, and that one is sitting right at the pin, right at the tip of my butterfly, 80. So if that's right there when we open, depending on where the profit is, we'll see what I don't think 1200 bucks. I don't think that's correct. I don't think it's going to be that high out of the gate. Uh, bullish, I think that's right. I'm not sure you would want to ask those guys. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to try to, uh, if that is the case, I, I remember, actually, I think you're, you're right about that because I, I, I talked about Working it so that uh, our people got a continued discount. But let me, uh, I'm going to make a note of that. I, I haven't, I never followed up on that. Chad, how was your uh, little break yesterday? Are you refreshed and ready to go? I am. Good. It was a good little break. I had some errands to run that I hadn't, hadn't done the last few days. And I just kind of shut it down midday and went and did them. Chad, I think your mic just went out. It sounded like you were talking in in the middle of saying something anyway. How do, how do I sound now? Loud and clear? Yep. All right. All right. So I posted earlier, I'm going to be <clears throat> doing a early Rick and a late Rick. So I'll do a Rick out of the gate. And then um, we'll do one a little bit later as well. So just half position size on each one. And then on a discretionary basis, I'll I'll be doing some re-entry iron condors throughout the day. I did take a long in the Russell futures this morning. That's, and then I took a long bond position this morning. Both of those are pretty much right where I got in.
There is the bell. I put on a long or a short put vertical right when the bell rang yesterday in, in NVIDIA. It's up uh, a cool 70%. Nice. So expected move for SPX for the day to the downside, about 5080 to the upside, about 5122. A little over 20 points. The expected move. My Rick should start firing as we speak. What was that? Oh, that was my NDX trade. All right, here comes Rick. 5105s, 5125s on the call side, and then the 5095, 5060 on the put side. One contract. Now, why did it only do one contract? You just get filled on one? Yeah, but it's acting like it's done. Should have done three. Oh, I know. I, oh, I see what I might have done. All right, I'm going to. What did I get filled at? I got filled at 12.10. Wow, it's already at Picks pushing up a little bit. Yeah, well, I'll just hold this for now. I may uh I may add to it here in a minute. I gotta check my bot. Yeah, bullish, I'll check on that. I remember them being open to making sure that discount stays, but we we never solidified anything so i'll check chad are you ricking it today uh no i don't think so you got something against well, Rick? i i I also may just, I may be light today. I'm just going to kind of see how price is, price is moving. So for my futures trades this morning, so if you look at bonds, I'm looking at the daily chart. You know, we had that push down and then bounce yesterday. And then today we just kind of retraced previous day a little bit and pushed up towards the high of yesterday. So that's why I'm getting long, looking for a continuation higher. And then on uh, the Russell, kind of the same thing, just kind of pushed down and retraced yesterday and pushed up to the top. So looking for a potential continuation higher there. So those are my two futures positions this morning. NDX trade 
Let's see, discount. Are you on the NDX trade with me? One seventy nine eighty. Looks like I got the nine seventy one sixty. Nine seventy one fifty are my shorts. Mm -hmm. So let's see the expected move for NDX. It's about one thirteen. So see, this covers basically the expected move for the day, just a little under. No, but it's uh, the NDX trade is going to go into my trade plan for March, which I, if I have time, I'm going to, I'm going to get that out today in the trade plans channel, but it's not, if you try to back test it, well, first of all, you can't back test NDX, but even back testing and the reason, I, the whole reason I'm doing NDX is just to free up my SPX. It just gets too crowded. But if you try to back test it in option Omega, it does not. It does not perform well. But my uh, my thesis is price stays within the expected move for the day. You win. If it doesn't, you lose. So that should happen about 68, 70% of the time. And based on the math, you know, like today, my max profit's 900. Max loss is 1,100. So if you do the math on doing 100 trades, and of course, there's going to be some times where it you get a partial profit or a partial loss. Um, but if you do the math on, let's say, 100 trades, just based on probabilities, it should have a positive expectancy. I'm just I'm doing it tiny. Um, you know, I'm doing two contracts here on NDX. But, um, and I don't, I'll show you my, I'll show you my um, performance so far. So here's, so I've done it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And actually, it's not 15 days. You'll see here, like, so on the seventh, and that's when I was doing SPX, I did it three times in one day. I was trying to kind of layer in, and then I closed one out when it got out of range. And um, so those aren't really relevant to what I'm doing now. And then this NDX one, same thing. I did three of those in one day. If I would have just left the first one on, it would have <laughs> booked max profit. So what I'm doing now is I'm just, I'm literally just putting it on and letting it expire. It's either going to be a winner or a loser. Um, <clears throat> so this isn't, A, it's not a very big data set, and B, there's a few days where I didn't really do what I'm doing now, but so far a little over 3,700 just doing small contracts this month. It's 20, yeah, it's just 10, uh, 25 delta. 10 wide. Super simple. All right, let's see what my square position is doing here. If it's over 1200 bucks. Oh, yeah, it's like 875. That's more in line with, with where I thought it would be. I'm going to see if I can get 1,000. I'm going to wait. So let's see. It's trading at 388. 
I'm just going to put an order in at 450. If that hits, I'll close it. NVIDIA is up again, so I'm going to end up beaking that, booking that little $125 profit on that one. Which is still a 30% return. My VXX trades up a little bit. Rut duck up a little bit. Corn premium down a little bit. Need a little bounce and some volatility to come out of corn. I've been watching wheat this morning too. You know, we had that big push up and then flush down. Now, and we bounced a little bit this morning. So if it starts to come down, I'm going to try to get short for a continuation lower. No, bullish uh, AM Iron Condor did not qualify for me. Too much volatility contraction. Check the uh, bullish. I don't know if you know the uh, in the positions, uh, positions and updates channel. You scroll up to the left. Every morning I, I post kind of my game plan, including zero DTE. And then you've got, and then my trade plan as well. So I got stopped out of my Russell futures. Russell coming down, even though the other guys are going up. The wrong index. Bonds are working. I'm going to add to my Rick if it gets back down to my original entry of Close to rolling up puts in my MES strangle. Let's see, I got those puts at 33. Only trading at 17. I'll give it a little bit. So we get SPX moving up and VIX moving up. Nope, no conditions every day, Mirage. Put it on, let it expire, win or lose.
Well, my friends, we've got some new all-time highs for you today. 51.11 so far. I heard somebody talking the other day that um, the business channel that NVIDIA is supposed to hit 900 by the end of the year. You might hit 900 by the end of today. All right. Well, I, I like I posted this morning. Um, you know, there's zero news today on the uh, calendar, and 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 this is just kind of anecdotal. But typically, when there's no news scheduled or anticipated or anything, those are typically very good days for just choppy price action and selling selling premium. But on the flip side, we got a big overnight VIX contraction, which typically doesn't do as well. So I I did the Rick out of the gate. I'm going to do another Rick a little bit later. But I also want to sell some premium today. We are getting a little VIX pop at the open. So I'm just going to try to Pick my spot and uh, and sell some premium at some point here. I could definitely see this thing just kind of drifting higher and trending up all day too, though. So basically, what I'm saying is I don't know what's going to happen, just like any other day. <laughs> Yeah, some stocks moving down. Big movers today. A bunch of junk stocks are lower. Coinbase down 3%. Tesla down 1%. AMD down 1%. Apple down a little bit. Netflix slightly red. Biggest mover to the upside, of course, Square after earnings. Rocket up 7%. NVIDIA at 4 <coughs> hmm. I mean, that's just... That's that's what you call parabolic, my friends. If anyone says, what does parabolic mean? Just show them a chart of NVIDIA. Robin Hood kind of finally breaking out of this little... Eight to twelve dollar range that's been in for a couple of years.
Oh, so price coming back. It's like I should get filled on some more ricks here at the same price. Another 10 cents or so. Chad, question from Alex for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, sometimes. I usually, when I'm leading the live stream, I'll try to get a couple in and then get out. Isn't, uh, I usually don't take a ton of those trades on Fridays, but. So you sometimes might... trade Mighty Nighty and Runners when you don't, like you, you used to only trade them during your live stream. You do a little bit off. Uh, I don't, I don't, not, not very often. No, I still don't trade them very often when I'm not leading the live stream. But that's not to say, you know, Alex, you, you can't, um, if you definitely, if you have any questions, like I'm not trading them today just because I'm not leading the live stream for those. But if you have any questions, if you see a, see a setup, yeah, just shoot it in the discord. Ooh, got filled on square at 450. It's a nice winner. So what did I get filled at? <clears throat> so I bought it for a buck oh three at power hour yesterday and out for four fifty today. Very nice. Could have held out to see if it stays near the pin and maybe scratched out another, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks maybe, but I'll take it. So I, so I just got short wheat <clears throat> on my futures. Exactly what I was saying earlier. You know, I had kind of retraced yesterday's big, long wiki candle, and it's coming back down. So I'm looking for a continuation lower in wheat. And my bond position's doing well. Kind of the opposite. Came down and retraced yesterday, and it started to push up, so I got long, and it's pushing up for me. And then I put my stop at a place where I think if it gets to, then my thesis was wrong. So, for example, on bonds... <clears throat> I have my stop at 117.28, which would be about right there. On wheat. Just above the highs of the day. That's where my stop is. SPX back up to highs of day. VIX started to contract a little bit. Now I get filled on my additional ricks for the bounce. Mm. 
Uh, all of them on my watch list here. Cody, if you check the uh, the positions and updates, I post those every morning. I post a screenshot. Those are all the ones that I would trade. Those are the most liquid. All the ones you see here. The indices, gold, silver, notes, bonds, 10-year yield, oil, natty, the grains, euro, pound, Bitcoin. And almost all of them have micros too. So like all the indices have micro contracts, which are one-tenth the size. Gold and silver have micros. Notes and bonds. Well, notes is half the size of bonds. They're pretty correlated. Ten-year yield is even smaller than notes. And it is um, inversely correlated for the most part. There's a micro oil, micro natty. There are micro grains, soybeans, wheat, and corn. They're not super liquid, though. There are micro <clears throat> pound and micro euro, and those are really small. And then there's the micro Bitcoin. Got some stocks pushing down. S&P just kind of rolled over a little bit. VIX popped pop back up. Yeah, Netflix really fallen. AMD. Netflix cracking lows. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here unless there's any other questions or, or anything. Uh, by the way, if you're new and this is your first time on, real quick, let me do a quick uh, housekeeping uh, if you go to the Zero DTE course channel, scroll up a little bit, there's a new member checklist for Zero DTE. Definitely start there. Uh, within that same channel, there's the zero, some of the Zero DTE courses. Uh, there's the Zero DTE trade plan, where I post my trade plan every month, which I'll be doing here maybe today for uh, my plan for March, <clears throat> if not by Monday. And then other folks, have, uh, including Chad, posted his trade plan here and then some of our other members so make sure you check those out ndx yeah my ndx trade will be on my march plan yep all right all have a great day see you in power hour take care